three. Let's just get it deep. What's good, y'all? It's your man Zen Master for Zen Master Sports and Shorts. Coming to you today to talk about the two most dynamic players in basketball as we speak. I'm going to cut Luka Doncic a little bail. He probably belongs there too. But our focus today is on none other than New York Knicks Jalen Brunson and Minnesota Timberwolves shooting guard Anthony Edwards. Let's start with Brunson. Jalen Brunson is a 27-year-old point guard who really is a undersized scoring guard. He reminds me a great deal of Damian Lillard in the sense that he's a score first guy as a point, also undersized at 6'2". So those guys both play above their weight. But Jalen has a mid-range game that Dame could only dream of and Dame has a three-point game that Jalen can only dream of. So there's a significant difference between the two. Jalen is better at getting to the cup. He's better, like I said, at the mid-range. Dame will shoot the lights out from anywhere on the court. Having said all that, Brunson is staring down the bright lights of New York City, and they are not bothering him at all. The son of an NBA player, Brunson is starring in these playoffs he and Edwards have lit up the scoreboard like no one else Brunson just joined elite company Michael Jordan Bernard King maybe one other player to score three 40 point games at the garden in the playoffs in one series the kid is on a on a tear now we gotta bear in mind again he's 27 years old Right now, Jalen Brunson is exactly where he's supposed to be. He's in his athletic peak, his basketball prime, and he's driving that team. If you're the Dallas Mavericks, I think he made the right move. I think he did because you set this guy free and you set Luka free, and he's probably nearing Luka's level in terms of being a scorer. You don't need Jalen Brunson and Luka Doncic on the same team. I'm not sure that Kyrie is the best partner for Luka Doncic, but it's working. Kyrie's attitude and probably lack of desire to be a number one worked out better for that organization. Brunson is flourishing. It's great to see New York back to prominence. The Knicks are a cornerstone franchise in the NBA, and we've missed you, and it's great to have you back, New York. Moving on to the Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards. 22 years old, six foot four, 225 pounds. He's no small fry. This is a big kid. Okay, Michael Jordan as a 22 year old was probably 6'6", 215 at the most, probably 195-ish. To be honest, Michael Jordan was not buck like that. This kid is bucked, right? Scoot Henderson comes to mind. He's not as buff as Scoot, but Somewhere between J Michael Jordan and Scoot Henderson lies Anthony Edwards. Oddest tweener I've ever seen at 6'4", but shooting guard deluxe. Devin Booker has officially been surpassed. Officially. This is the best shooting guard in the NBA. And I love D-Book. But I think it's time for him to get out of Phoenix, and that's another story. Edwards has had a playoff performance at the age of 22 that rivals Jordan's entry at 22 as well. It does. Now, Edwards has had more experience because he's been in the league longer than Jordan at age 22. But when you look at their game scores for the playoffs, um, of course, he hasn't reached Jordan's heights yet. He may never reach Jordan's heights when you look at game score. But Anthony is starting off at 22 at a better position than Jordan did just as a start just as a start calm down all right we have the graphs to prove it I was going to go through all of that stuff here we'll do our own separate video on Ant-Man versus Jordan make sure you tune in for that but I just wanted to congratulate these two guys especially these two teams especially the Timberwolves are my official pick for the West once again I oscillated 
on Dallas for about three weeks, but I'm back to Minnesota solid. 0-6 in the playoffs, taking down the defending champs. I don't see them losing to the defending champs at this point. I see them going 8-0 and for the first two rounds in the playoffs. Yeah, Dallas is going to give them some resistance, no doubt. They're not going to blank out Dallas, who I predict to go to the conference finals over OKC. But it's going to be a beautiful series between Minnesota and Dallas that I, I look forward to, and I know you do too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Salute the game, gang. And we'll see you on the next go-round. Peace.